get started. So I already, um, as always, I put my you know, lotion on. That's like what I do every morning as soon as I wake up. Brush my teeth, clean my face, and I moisturize my face. I usually also add the Clinique, but because I knew I wanted to do a video, I wanted to kind of wait. And I only use like two pumps, which honestly, it is a lot to use two pumps. But I like my face hydrated. Falling apart. Okay. Okay, wow, it feels so cooling. It feels great, actually. I love that. And I love that it has a pump. It actually looks like there's nothing in there. Oh, no, you can see it. But I love the pump. It's very sleek, this bottle. I love it. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and use the Stay Focused Glow. It's a Get Dewy Radiant Glow with this weightless, mineral-based luminizer with soft focus and pearl pigments to revive. Perfect for the smooth, perfect and smooth, the appearance of the skin. Fingers for all over illumination or prep skin for primer. Can be worn alone or under, oh yeah, speaking of primer. See, I would've just went in and I would've forgotten to put this on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this here. Oops, well that's, that's really, um, it's a thick feeling. I don't know, but it smells really good, though. Okay. So. I swear this wasn't my intentions at all. I stay hydrated. All right, so look how cute this is. I love this. Okay, Melania, see you. All right, so wow, this is one pump. It's actually really thick, guys. It's like a creamy thickness here. One pump is too much. I do feel like it's too much. And I don't have a napkin. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna put it all over the face. Mm It has a um, weird smell. I don't like the smell. It smells kind of like, I don't know, crayon. I already damped my beauty blender. So I'm just gonna go right ahead and shake the bottle. Put this in the back of my hands. She's pretty liquidy, but it's pretty thick as well. All right, so I'm just gonna dab my foundation, I mean, my beauty blender. And I don't wanna get this dirty, but the other side is dirty. I wish that the foundation had a pump because I feel like it's a lot that I put on my hand and I don't want to waste the foundation. I feel like the color isn't too bad. Summer needs to come because your girl needs a tan. With a one layer, I mean, I feel like it looks good. So I like it. You guys can see the difference, one side. And nothing on. So it's not like a full coverage foundation. It's like, I want to say medium coverage. It's pretty nice. It feels lightweight. I don't feel like I have anything on my face, which I love. I don't like my face to feel heavy. Okay, guys. 
So like I said, I feel like I do waste a lot of foundation, so I wish it did have a pump. I like it, it feels good. Doesn't feel tacky. I feel like it's still settling in. All right guys, so now that I feel like it is dry, um, it looks good. A little tacky, but I mean nothing crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and use the James Charles palette. And um, first thing first, I'm going to prime the eyes since we're using Maybelline foundation, right? So I'll use the Maybelline concealer in the color 15 Fair Claire. I'm almost done with this actually. I need to go and purchase a new one. But I'm gonna go ahead and just prime the lids. I'm gonna set it with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just gonna go and grab any of my brushes that I have. And I'm using a real technique brush. You can use any brush to set this, but you know. Nobody wants any creases. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna put it all around my lids. I'm not gonna be precise about it, just put it all over. So, I'm gonna go ahead and bake, but I'm gonna use I love this because it brightens up my under eye. The lavender from Fenty Beauty. The setting powders, I love this powder. I hate the fact how messy it is. But So this whole time, I thought I was recording. But apparently, I wasn't. So I managed to do this eye, and I just realized it right now when I was doing this eye, I wasn't recording. So what I did was, guys, I used the Marvelous Mavi Ghost of Colors. And um, you're going to see what I did over here. But... I can't believe I wasn't recording. I'm so thankful that I noticed it right when I was doing this eye because guys, I would have been so upset. Okay. I know it looks crazy, but we're gonna go and blend. We'll go ahead and get the pinky, the light pink one, and just Okay, so what I did was I picked up the color fluffy and rosy. So I'm gonna get fluffy first, and I'm gonna use my Morphe brush um, M330. I'm just gonna go right here and concentrate and just do this, go back and forth. I love this palette. This is one of my most favorite palettes. These are like my favorite colors, rosy and fluffy. So I'm gonna grab rosy and focus rosy on my outer corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to canvas and just put it right under my eyebrows. I have this Stila Diamond Dust and I don't know, I feel like adding it in the middle. Just a little bit. So let me just put it on my fingertips. give it a little 
Okay, guys. So, I think that looks really cute. And I'll be using my Maybelline. So while I put on my eyeliner, my lashes, and finish up my face, I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so here's the finished look. But, I mean, I think it's cute. I like it. I didn't do a dramatic wing liner, and um, I used a subtle color too for the lips. So I ended up using the Posey K from Kylie Jenner. I outlined my lips with it lightly, and I filled it in just a tad, and then I added the limited edition, the Selena MAC um, Bitty Bitty Bum Bum on top. So that's my lip combo here. And then I just finished my face doing the rest. I did my hair as well. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Overall, I did like the look. I am extremely excited and happy. I'm little by little getting the hang of just getting out of my comfort zone. Alright guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys like this look. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And give this video a thumbs up.